This is Mark Morgenstern for the local Architecture Today show. Today we're interviewing the proprietors of Bland and Boring Architecture Incorporated at their offices here on South Walnut, Bloomington, Indiana. With us today are Arthur, or Art Bland as he likes to be called, and Barry Boring who run this firm and they're making some pretty amazing and wonderful new structures throughout the town. Art and Barry, thanks for being guests on this show. Our pleasure, Mort, man. Yeah. So, not long ago you guys designed the wonderful Poplar's Hotel building on East 7th Street. It's a marvelous example of modern architecture with its clamshell canopy and Colorado spruce detailing. How do you see the future of this building working out? We think the Poplar's Hotel will be around for years. It will always be a hotel. Uh, never a sorority or offices for Indiana University because everyone loves this building. I think it will set the standard for what the rest of the buildings should look like in the neighborhood. You know, less fancy, more squares, you know, screw the old crap. Okay, so how much work did you put into designing this building? Weeks, I'm sure, maybe months. I think it was like uh, 10 minutes, man. More like uh, maybe 5 minutes. It was a moment of inspiration from Arthur. 5 minutes? Hmm, okay. So, what about your latest project? The Chateau Villas out there on Woodlawn and Atwater. It's part chateau and part apartments. It's groovy, man. Yes, you know, we're thrilled they started tearing down all those old garbage homes out there along East Atwater. Those old Victorians aren't suitable for people of this new generation. They're totally not groovy. Uh, the more crap they tear down and, you know, it's the more we get to build our new masterpieces. All right, yeah. So what was your inspiration for the Chateau Villas? You know, groovy apartments, a groovy place to live. You know, we thought we'd use a mansard roof. And we added some detail with the fake inoperable cottage shutters in, in case there those that live there would like to pretend they are actually living in a cottage. I suspect these fake shutters will be used for decades going forward so more and more people can pretend they're actually living in a cottage in the woods despite the evidence to the contrary. Now you're so right. We see a lot of those inoperable fake shutters these days. Let's take a look at the Chateau Villas and get your thoughts as we put them up on the screen. Any feelings about the houses that were demolished to create your new masterpiece? You know, those old homes, by the way. Uh, we, we originally forgot to build an interior stairway to the upper apartment floors to this building. So, oops, you know, Art devised this metal exterior walkway. I think it looks fabulous. I love the groovy photos, man. I love the garbage, too. You know, it adds a sense of reality to the scene. Like, hey, man, we create garbage. You know, we're humans. That's what we do. Eventually, we hope to have a fast food place that serves sub sandwiches. Uh, you know, the submarine sandwiches. And if we could get that in the bottom floor, eventually that will cater to individual overweight people that lose a lot of weight who later become national figures on TV commercials. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, I suppose it would. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty groovy too. That's all we have here. Back to Sam Samson at the studio.